Hey everybody, it's Chris from Sideshow Gamble. Welcome back to the table today. So today, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but uh, I was kind of eagerly awaiting the uh, dice coaching that I got from Ed over at Roll to Win. And boy, was it a uh, nerve wracking experience, but it was good. And I very much appreciate Ed taking the time out of his day and Jeff for being the moderator um, to coach me up on a few things of what I'm doing wrong on the table. And, you know, whether you agree or disagree, whether it's right or wrong, anytime I can get help or guidance from somebody that's been doing it longer is experience. And I will take all the experience I can get and all the knowledge and wisdom that I can keep in my brain. So today we're going to try, we're going to be practicing our dice set, but we are going to play a strategy today. Um, we're going to be pressing. Now, I am not going to give away Ed's pressing unless Ed wants it to be out there. But I'm just going to be doing some just regular pressing today. And we're going to cover all the numbers because now we've really got to figure out what we're hitting and what to play. And we're going to throw kind of the same dice set we were throwing. We're going to throw a 5-4-5-4. Five, four, five, four. We're going to record every roll. And we are going to focus really hard at making sure we hit this piece of paper right here, which I have really had a hard time hitting. But that's what we're going to focus at today. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So I know my head was cut off on that, but it's all good. So I put the... Uh, Chips down here. We are going to have to play, we're going to call it a uh, $5 table, $500 max. Because that's my local casino, so we're going to have a $5 bet. And out here, we're just going to focus on pressing. We're not doing anything else other than some presses today and see how she goes. So, blue die will be our left die. Red die will be our right die. And we've got a 5-4-5-4. Five, four, five, four. Again, I already, see, I already set up my feet the wrong way, so let's fix my feet. Square ourselves to the table. Get our dice. Feeling comfortable right around the eye last night, so very light grip. Look down the line. And we're going to come out on a 3-5 easy 8. Mark that up. So we got our 3-5. There we go. Get out on the 8. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep this simple and we're going to get everything. Yes, I know I'm playing the point and I've got a pass line down. Pass lines just so that I can shoot the dice. And there we go. We're going to press. And my intention behind this is I'm not going to collect anything until I get at least paid back a payment for what I have out there. Three fingers, light grip, square to the table, relaxed. And we got us a one, five, six. Right die kind of kicked off to the left. But that blue, that left die stopped dead, so that's a good thing. That's going to pay 35. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take it up to 60. We're going to rack the five. And I put the chip rail down there so you guys can see it because I'm still adjusting camera settings. And we got us a 459, a little short of the mark. 459. Is that a good spot? Yeah, you guys can see those pretty good down there. That's also going to pay us 35. And like I said, we're doing some full press in here. So we're just going to press that up. And I know that's not a good way to play. You always want to be collecting. But I'm really wanting to see what numbers we're going to be hitting the most if we can stay as consistent as possible. And we got us a 6-5 yo. Old mid-mo in the house. So I'm reading the left die first every single time. Which is going to be our blue die. Shoot. 
Shooting from the deck. A little deep, and it's going to be a 2 1 3. Kind of pushed that one. I felt myself push, so it's all good. Well, it's not good. I should make sure that I stick to just the same old, same old here. All right, we got a two, one, three again. It's good that uh, we're repeating the same number. We're throwing a hard way set. That's the exact same dice combination we just tossed. Although that first that first toss of the two, one, we went deep. We pushed it in. That one felt a little bit more natural, but we were very high on our arc. I need to bring out the broomstick again, I guess. And that is a 5-4-9. I heard that land. That was a good flat landing. Good smack. All right. So we've got, it's going to pay $84. All right there. And we're going to rack the four bucks. Pull this. Take that. I get a black chip. We're just going to take it right to 140 on the nine. Five, four, five, four. And that is going to be a one, four, five. All right, little deep on the right side. I twisted my hand. I'm saying that out loud so that I can remember when I watch this back, but that's going to pay 35 for the five. Again, we're going all the way up. There we go. All right. Three finger grip, nice and light, relax, don't tense up. And there is gonna be a one, five one mixer, hit the like and subscribe. Five one right there. And that is gonna pay us 70 bucks. And we're just gonna take that to 120, rack 10. All right. Square up to the table. A little deep. And it's a 5-1 mixer again. We'll take it. Got to stop getting it deep in there. So, 5 1, that's got 120, which is going to pay us 140. All right, at this point, I think we've collected enough that's out there, so I'm going to drop it back down to our base because we're going to be smart craps players. One, two, three, four, five. Color that up. Two green chips right there. And we're just going to rack this back up in here. That's full. Oh. And there we go. So I would definitely say, pardon me, I would definitely say we've made profit at this point. Now let's just play it out. And let's, uh, let's kind of take a peek real quick before we continue to toss. Let's, let's think about this the way Ed told us. Let's really look at what we're hitting. We're definitely hitting the nine. We're definitely hitting the six. We hit the five a little bit, but we're not hitting four. We're not hitting 10. So what I'm going to do is this extra five. I'm going to take that four, and I'm going to put it up there on the six. Now, I do know from what we were throwing the other night, we do also hit the four. So I'm going to take this, 
and I'll pick up the four. We're not going to worry about a 10, but if we can get on a decent run, then uh, we'll, we'll start picking up some other numbers. But that's all I'm going to play for right now. Square up to the table. That felt good, but it is a 437. It felt good, but it is a 437. So we sevened out. That was a good 10 roller, but we got out of the hand. So let's try changing up what we're doing this time around. Let's be a little bit more aggressive on the press here. We know what we're throwing. We're throwing sixes and we're throwing some, uh, some nines out there, but six is getting hot and heavy. I don't know if that's because that's how it's going for us today, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and just hit a hard press on the six. We're going to stack the six. And we're going to get a one, three, four. That feels pretty good. Good number to be on. We know we can hit the four. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to come out all the way across. And we'd probably do this at a lighter level, but I just want to show for it's easier with the math, I think, in my brain. There we go. So I'm going to stack every win we get on the six, but when we hit it, we're going to come back down and then we'll play just what we've got. And that is going to be a 167 on the come out. That is a PSO, which happens. I did something wrong. I kicked that left die all the way over. So, puck's going to come off. There's 160 out there. So, there's our 160. There's replacing that. Still going to stick to what we were doing. PSOs are going to happen. Did something wrong. So let's go through my method here and make sure we've got a good grip. Thumb. Rock it to the table. Just let it sit. Nice light grip. Looking down the line. And we're going to get a 5-4-9. All right. Five, four, niner. I don't know how long. We're only 13 minutes we've been going so far. So here we go. Let's see if we can do it again. Again, we started with a $1,500 bankroll. More for the practice today. So let's see what we can do with some betting in there. And that's going to be a 2-5-7. That was a double pitch. Another PSO. It was, felt like a really good toss. Maybe we did toss a little hard. All right. But we're not going to let it discourage us. We're going to drop another 160. And five for the pass. All right. Two PSOs, folks. Two PSOs. But it's only going to take us one good run, and we could be where we need to be. Doing something wrong. And that's going to be a 6-5 yo on the come out. All right. 6-5. Going to win. Now I always go in the field with it. Can't lose on the next roll. I can make some extra money. Maybe get a back-to-back -back yo.
And that's going to be a 426. All right, so that'll be our point. We're going to lose the field bet. But it wasn't money we were planning on making anyway, so. All right. Get resituated here. Belly up to the table. Lock it down. And that's going to be a 369. That was a beautiful toss. Felt good. 369 is going to pay 35. I'm going to drop a dollar. I'm going to go all up on the six, like we said. All right. Dice off the table, hit the trampoline. Hit the trampoline. All right. There's a left die. Try it again. Three fingers, light grip. That's going to be a 325. Kind of jumped up, landed a little on the left side of the die. That's why they jumped up into that corner, but we got lucky. That's going to pay 35. All right. We're going to just take that to. Make it simple. We'll drop a little bit out of our, our rail here. We'll go to 108. 108. I think that pays 119, if I remember correctly, on that six. And that's going to be a one, two, three. Felt good. That was a nice, that toss felt so good. Little north, hard four, two, two. All right. Two, two. Little north of the point, but I, I'm, I'm okay. So that's going to be a dollar for the VIG. Get 50. We're just going to take that to 150. Five, four, five, four here. And we got a two, four, six. Nice. Two, four. Nice little pop up there. That is a frontline winner, and that is the point that we need to hit. And we get five on the pass line. No big deal. We're going to get 175 up there, which is awesome because we're just going to rack that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring that back down. And that should have recovered some of our losses that we had by pulling it back down. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to play it out and see what happens for us. Now, I'm going to try and keep this uh, under the 30, but we've got, I would like to get at least 36 rolls per video now because that's a good number for the bone trekker. And here we go. Let's get a point. Got to keep your finger on there, Chris. Chris. 
All right, we got a 5-1 mixer, folks, which means you have to hit the like and subscribe. I'm liking. Now, I know Ed might yell at me, but I think Ed would agree. If I find a spot on the table, stick with it. I'm finding, like, right here next to this thing is stopping them dead. Not a lot of bounce staying right there. That's two shots right there now and two sixes. So maybe if I – and I'm looking at the sticker, the, the sticky note. But that's where they're landing, so I'm okay with that. And there is a 4-3. Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. We got too high up in that, uh, in that, uh, up in the, in the rubber there. All right. 4-3. We're going to lose everything out there, so that's 165 again. There's our 165, replaces everything out there. Nice PSO, it's always great. But we're not doing anything fancy today. We're not doing any strategy, just a, just a simple press. I think now um, we're just gonna press the what we hit. We'll do a full press on that. and We'll go for four or five and then come down. And there's a 639. Gonna be out on the nine. Six three. Damn, she's fine. All right. All right, square your body up, Chris. There we go. Wow, that was a low shot, 6-1. Two PSOs again. All right, 6-1. It's going to be another 165 out of the rack here. There you go. That is a stinky, stinky day. But we're not going to let that discourage us because like... Uh, like Ed was saying, we're just practicing with a dice set right now. We're not really sure what is going to be our dice set, but that is what we've got to practice with one single dice. I've got to be more, I've got to be consistent on the landing area. So let's fix that landing zone. And there's a 5 6 yo. That one felt good. And again, we were just. Just north of it. It's going to be a $5 frontline winner. We go on the field. That is not the right dice set there, Chris. Is that the right dice set? 5, 4, 5, 4. And there's our midnight. And it's gonna lose the pass line, but we get paid double in the bubble. So we get paid double. It's gonna rack five bucks. Woohoo! Big money. That's a 6-1. That's a frontline winner. Bad toss. But we'll win here, we lose here, so it's a push. Now we're just trying to get a point. We got some Christmas trees going on building right now on the on the dice tracking. I call it my Christmas lights. And there is a one, two, three. Again, it's going to be a push. We're going to lose on the pass line, but we'll get paid in the field. 
So that's trying to get a point. Or we're just going to continue with the Christmas lights for the next couple rolls here. But again, this is so that I can see if I can follow through with what the guidance I was given and stick with it. And a hard six, three, three. All right. Hard six, that one kind of bounced out. But that is a primary hit on the back of the dice. Which is good. So it's a face hit. Any face hits we get, it's going to be a hard way. However, we need to not, we didn't land perfectly flat because we bounced off to the left there. There's a hard four, two, two. That's exactly what we want them to do every single time. Two, two. We're going to drop a dollar. It paid 50, and we're just going to press it because that's all we're doing today is just working on pressing. It's not really a strategy build today. It's more just what are we hitting consistently. And there's a hard four, two, two. All right, check that out. Back to back repeater right there. So that's gonna pay us 150. And we're gonna collect that. That's gonna be 150 for three. So I'll drop a five, we'll get $2 back. We're gonna collect that one and pull it back down. Cause they had a couple of PSOs. That's close enough to my 160. I'd be happy with that. With the pull down, we're good. We'll take that all day long. Now we can do whatever we want. And there is a two, four, six right there. Two, four, sixer. That's our point. Take that off. We're gonna get paid on the pass line. And we're going to pay 35 up there. But we're going to drop, uh, we'll just go take it to 60. There we go. Now, we're gonna, we've got to go to at least 36 rolls, so I need two more rolls. And uh, if we are already into it, we will play it out. A little short, but it's a two, four, six. All right, so we're back on the six. Two, four. Just doing some pressing today. Let's see how it plays out for us. And we got a six, three, nine. All right, so there's our 36 rolls right there. But like I said, we're just gonna stick with it. We're gonna press it to 50 this time. We're gonna be a little smart, always be collecting. We'll get some collections back, but we're gonna be definitely pressing here and see what we can do with this. But we would be done with what we wanted to do, but we've got a point established, so we've got to play it out to the points Come to fruition. And we got a one, four, five. Had a runner on that left die. One, four, five. That right die stopped dead. So that's going to pay 35. We're going to press that to 50, rack our 10. Doing the same thing. Just going to repeat what we're doing. Okay. 
And there is our 156, folks, right there for you. That is our frontline winner right there. Now, I will also tell you a little piece that I'm adding into this. So let me pay that out. That's 70 right there for the six plus our five on the pass line. We'll just make that an easy 75. All right, now here's what I am doing. I took all the advice that Ed has given me, and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm focusing as I'm letting it out. When my hand comes between my eyes and that sticker, that is when I'm focused at releasing now. It's working so far. I had to make a change to that. All right. So let's see what we've got in profit. We started with $1,500. We've got a profit of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there is that was our bankroll right there. That's bankroll. So we're in profit of one, two, three, one. There's 200, 225, 250, $254 in profit. And we took a lot of PSOs, but again, you guys can't see me. Let me move down this way. Again, this is coming down to how consistent can I be? I really haven't figured out what strategy I should be playing or what is my go-to because I have to reestablish what my base numbers are and focus at what I'm doing. So we're going to be sticking with a 5454 five, dice set for a while just so that we can get all those data points. We'll use Bone Tracker to help guide us in the direction. But if, like for example, if we're never hitting tens, we're probably not going to put money on the 10. If we're never hitting eights, we're not going to put money on the eight. We're not going to waste our money. We're going to put it where we want it and try and make maximize what we're doing. So that's the best I can do at listening to all the wise and more experienced players out there. And Ed and I talked for about a good hour, hour and a half after uh, his coaching class with me. And I got a lot of intuition from him as to what I should be doing and how to better myself as a crafts player. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.